Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Welcome to the Zanmaya episode. And today you will learn how to say in Luxembourgish to stay. Okay, so now um, if you are learning Luxembourgish, you will probably have heard the following verb to say to stay. And this is bleiben, right? So bleiben. And one of the questions that comes up in our courses the most is how to say that you are staying somewhere in. Unlike English, where you can safely use to stay no matter who you are with or where you end up being, you have in Luxembourgish a couple of choices. Um, as I told you before, so you have heard of the, word, of the word bleiben, but it's not your best option and I will show you when to use bleiben. And if you are aiming at sitting the Spruch and has to acquire Luxembourgish citizenship soon, then listen carefully to this episode as the content uh, you will learn today will be very useful to talk about the topic vacans, which is one of the 14 current topics of the oral exam. Pas du prat? Dann lass! As mentioned before, Luxembourgish has a few words to say to stay. When being on a holiday and staying overnight at a hotel or an apartment or with your friends, you can safely use the verb wunnen, wunnen or the verb evanuesten, evanuesten. They are interchangeable. Let's have example sentences. So to say, I stayed with a friend in Spain, you will say, a schub bei engem Freund aus Spanien evanuest. A schub bei engem Freund aus Spanien evanuest. Evanuest is the past participle of evanuesten. Or you can as well say, a schub bei engem Freund aus Spanien gewund. A schub bei engem Freund aus Spanien gewund. And be careful in English you say, I stayed with a friend or I stay with friends. With friends. Um, in Luxembourgish we use the preposition by. Hein? Donc, a schub bei engem Freund aus Spanien evanuest oder a schub bei engem Freund aus Spanien gewund. Or let's make a sentence in the present tense. I am staying at the hotel is Ösch evanuesten an engem Hotel. Or you can also say, ich wohnen an engem Hotel. Now, let's uh, have a look at the difference between wohnen and evanuesten. First of all, wohnen translates to to live and evanuesten translates to to stay overnight. Wunnen implies that you stayed longer than only a couple of days, whereas Ivanuesten focuses on the fact that you just stayed at a certain place, maybe you just ticked off uh, the tourist attractions of a city. So, when to use Wunnen and when to use Ivanuesten? If you tell me, Ösch Ivanuesten zu Paris, then I will have the feeling that you are going. Uh, to go to Paris, to, to Paris for uh, sightseeing, for example. What first will come to my mind is you and your travel partner hopping on and off some tourist buses. In my head, you two will have your cameras ready, hanging around your neck and the map in your back pocket ready to be used. But if you tell me a schwunnen zu Lützeburg bei Fren, I will think you might have friends in Luxembourg, or at least you are trying to get the real feel for the city. Pictures will pop up in my head of you having a glass wine at a beautiful cafe with your Luxembourgish friends, or Grompere Tischelscha, a beer at the sunny Schwerbefeuer in Luxembourg City. 
Now, having just described the differences between Wunnen and Ivanoeshten, be aware that the differences are very subtle. And have you noticed that uh, there is another difference? We use the present tense for both Wunnen and Ivanoeshten. And this is possible because in Luxembourgish, we mostly use the present tense when talking about the future. We just don't have a future tense. And this is why you can say, for I will stay at the hotel, ich Ivanoeshten an engem hotel. Also, literally, this is, I stay at the hotel. Let's move on. Apart from wunnen and Ivanoeshten, there are other verbs that you can use to tell your friends about your trip. And these verbs are bleiben, bleiben, or sin. Okay? So bleiben and sin are used for staying with family and very close friends. For example, how will you say, I will stay with my family in Barcelona for five days? Remember that we will say I stay rather than I will stay. So this is Ich bleiben fünftig bei meiner Familie zu Barcelona. Ich wiederholen. Ich bleiben fünftig bei meiner Familie zu Barcelona. You can as well say Ich sind fünftig bei meiner Familie zu Barcelona. That's possible as well. Let's do a sentence with um, sind in the past tense. So I stayed with my friend in Barcelona for five days. Doch ich war fünftig bei meinem Freund zu Barcelona. Ich war fünftig bei meinem Freund zu Barcelona. Always bleiben, you have to use the present perfect, and you can say, ich sind fünftig bei meinem Freund zu Barcelona blieben. Okay, and in English you say four, five days. We don't have any preposition. We just say fünf days. Have you noticed that you should mention the time or duration before you talk about the place? In English, it's the opposite. In English, you will say I will stay in Barcelona for five days, but in Luxembourgish it is ich bleiben fünf days zu Barcelona. So the place comes at the end. Here is a simple formula that um, you can use to remember. So for the four verbs wunnen. Ivanoeshten, bleiben, sin. The rule is you take your verb and then the duration and then with a person or at a place plus the location. Okay, let's have another example. So you will say, I am staying with my friends in Berlin for three weeks. Then you will start with your verb. So, ich, Ivanoeshten, and then the duration, drei Wochen. With a person is here by menge fren, by menge fren, and then the location zu Berlin. Mir wiederholen. Ich übernöchten drei Wochen bei menge fren zu Berlin. Here you could as well say, ich wohnen drei Wochen bei menge fren zu Berlin, because you stay a couple of weeks there. Okay. An anot Beispiel, another example. My parents stayed in Luxembourg with us for three weeks. So here we have a sentence in the past. So how would you say this using the verb bleiben? So this will be Mengaltren sind eng Woch bei Eis zu Letzburg blieben. So you start with your verb Mengaltren sind, duration eng Woch, with us is by Eis, and then the location zu Letzburg. And as this is a sentence in the present perfect, of course the past participle of bleiben, which is blieben, comes at the end. Mir wiederholen, Mengaltren sind eng Woch bei Eis zu Letzburg blieben. Great. Now, to sum it all up, try to bear those final thoughts in mind. Wunnen and Ivanoeshten are interchangeable and your best bet. But Wunnen accentuate the fact of staying longer and maybe feeding at home too, whereas Ivanoeshten can be used when stressing you are just staying somewhere for a couple of nights, for example at a hotel, an engem hotel oder an engem Airbnb zum Beispiel. Then use bleiben or sin when staying with family and very close friends. 
and mention the duration, the time, so one week, two weeks, three days, before any location. And this is the opposite in English. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you find it helpful. Now, do you have the level A2? And do you intend to sit the Sprachen test soon? And you would like to gain confidence in answering the questions the examiner might ask you about any given topic. For example, like the topic Vakanz. Then join one of our Sprachen test prep classes where we prepare you in just four weeks. You will find the link to this Sprachen test prep classes in the show notes. Merci fit no lauschen and bis next Woche. Adi. Thank you.